For over 30 years, what's made Star Wars so appealing is this element, this rich story, and these deep characters. For over a thousand generations, the Jedi Knights were the guardians of peace and justice in the Old Republic. We felt that it was critical that Star Wars The Old Republic be fully voiced. All Marines have been neutralized. And that delivers that immersive experience that really brings these characters to life. What's going on? Stay calm, Ensign. Everyone stay calm. It just felt right to do it with full voiceover for all the characters and the companion characters, non-player characters you get to interact with. It makes everything much more powerful. We see games as an art form and we want to create story that rivals cinema and novels. Who's calling the shots here? I'm Captain Revenant Orzik. I'm pretty sure I know what this is about. For the record, I take complete responsibility for my actions. You disobeyed a direct order from Grand Moff Kilrun. Yes, I had no idea he'd respond this brutally. Maybe he just hates me. You're, you're listening to these characters, and you're chatting amongst them, and you're playing, you're, you're there. And that's a really engaging and cinematic experience. I've fought in a war before, and I'll fight again, but I don't do suicide missions. We can complete this mission and survive. The benefit to the player is a much deeper emotional attachment to your character. Nobody has tried to deliver this amount of immersion in a video game so far. I can handle any borders. All right, defend the ship at all costs. We have business to take care of. Star Wars The Old Republic is one of the most ambitious voiceover projects in the history of the video game industry, perhaps the entertainment industry itself. Hope you're as good as the old man says. Everything in this game is going to be voiced, from the player characters... Excuse me, but I have a safe house to shoot up. ...to the NPCs... The bridge is now secure. Everyone's going to be talking to you. We have an emergency. Please respond. It allows players to interact with the non-player characters and the companion characters and the quest givers in ways that no one has ever done before. Indeed. The main attraction has arrived. Ready to meet your team? There's heroes, villains, crackpots, just a vast number of different characters that are going to feel familiar to the Star Wars universe and some that are going to feel new. If we're going to survive, we need to work together. Now comes the fun part. Our casting net is worldwide, and we're finding the very best actors to bring these characters to life. Our mission would greatly benefit from your assistance. We had to have professional voice directors. If you can do sort of a Darth Maul thing and a Welsh thing. Everyone involved in the process was the top people in the industry. The Republic deserves your best efforts. It's larger than every role-playing game that Bioware has ever made put together. We have over a dozen writers making sure that every piece of dialogue really is a living, breathing thing. If you want to live, do exactly what I say. And it really gives a sense that the universe is connected, that there are real things happening. Enemy is firing. Amazing for Nobis. All units, maximum firepower. It involves literally hundreds of thousands of lines of spoken dialogue, thousands of actors, studios all over the world, a whole army of people supporting all that. Drop your weapons and surrender. We thought if we could actually pull it off, actually have a game with that much VO, it, it really changed the whole playing field forever. You find a target and I'll take it down hard. Our designers are using tools that didn't exist 10 years ago. So to change the actors' performances by giving them different animations, different facial expressions, they can do all of the things that a film director can do, but it actually runs live. Bounty Hunter. You have our attention. Their interactive dialogue system actually knows who you're with, so the dialogues and the stories will be slightly tweaked depending on what classes are around you. You have our attention, my lord. Yes, my lord. Yes, my lord. When I've actually chosen to be kind to someone. I'm not looking to make a martyr of anyone. And then I betray them later on. That actually means something. The captain's dead. Shut up and prepare to jump to light speed. We never should have attacked him. You better know what you're doing, or what. Taking this voiceover, we talk a lot about the quantity of it, but the quality is really the game changer. We're setting up the support system so you can build a reputation. The drama, the tension, even the humor, it really comes to life. Personally, I'm just here to kill people and cause damage. The voiceover makes you feel like you're really the star at the center of the action. Incoming shuttle! Star Wars means different things to every different person. So we wanted to make sure that in the older public, players walk away feeling like there's characters that they were able to really connect to. Be safe out there. With the full voiceover, we wanted to evoke an immersive, living, breathing environment that players will never have seen before. Imperial arrogance knows no bounds. This is the infinite Star Wars experience that I've always dreamed of being a part of ever since I saw the films, and I think that our fans are going to feel the same way. Your only hope for survival is complete and utter loyalty.